the Synaptics booth at CES 2018 where there is something hidden in this little corner that I think is probably one of the best um, in pieces of innovation that we've seen at the show this year. This is uh, something that we've all been waiting for, especially now in the age of bezel-less smartphones. This is a Vivo smartphone phone, an unreleased phone. It's more of a prototype right now, so forget about the design. This may not be what the final product looks like, but it is the world's first smartphone with a fingerprint sensor built underneath the display. Take a look at the phone. There's no home button. There's no fingerprint sensor on the back, nothing on the side, nothing up front but it is over here, we can show you, hidden underneath the display over there. So that little fingerprint that glows is basically the fingerprint sensor. Let's do it, I'll show you how it works. So let me go ahead and just put my fing finger, finger above it and it unlocks the phone. Let's do that again. Press and it unlocks very quickly. Uh, now there's a couple of ways to trigger it. You can uh, tap on the display and it will bring this up and you can actually just power press over there but you have to press until it's done oops there you go or you could just press the power button press over here but you have to so now that the trick here is that you want to be able to press and hold on the display uh, to be able to trigger the unlock now let's go ahead and show them how it's set how to set it up so let's go ahead and press again now this is an always on display and this is an OLED panel as well. Uh, so it needs to be an OLED panel. Let's go ahead and do fingerprint face and let's add a second fingerprint. One, two, three, four. There you go. Add a fingerprint and then basically you just tap. Oh, that fingerprint already exists. So let's oops, add another fingerprint. This one over here. As you can see, it lights up. So basically what's happening is that the OLED panel lights up from underneath the display and it basically takes a snapshot, a, a photo, an image of your fingerprint and it uses that to be able to uh, match with a, an existing template or, a, or a, a file that they have on file. So when you set, up, set this up, this fingerprint will be put on fi file and then every time you do so, you try to unlock your phone the OLED panel will light up. Let's just use the always on display. It will light up, light up your fingerprint from behind. And there you go. Now, because there is no home button similar to the iPhone, some of the, you, you basically can either turn on the navigation keys over here so that you get the, these navigation buttons over there. But you can also just use gestures. So for example, you, just like on Apple, uh, you're on WeChat, you swipe up, to go home, uh, if you're, for example, in settings, you can swipe up from the right side of the display to go back, and then you can swipe up from the left-hand side of the display to bring up this control center where there are like shortcuts to various settings and uh, whatnot. So that basically is um, the um, uh, the technology brought to you by Synaptics, which I don't know if you're familiar with the company Synaptics. They do a lot of display uh, display controls. They also worked on some of the fingerprint sensors, the optical uh, fingerprint sensors, uh, the fingerprint sensors, but this is an optical fingerprint sensor. And the technology is basically all happening in this chip. I don't know if you can see it, I'll get close, but you have, that is a CMOS sensor. And for those of you who don't know what a CMOS sensor is, it's the same, it's basically the sensor that is used in, in cameras. So that you would have something similar in your smartphone camera, but this is the CMOS sensor that takes a picture. That's the controller, that black chip over there. And basically it's embedded underneath the dis underneath the layers of this glass. Again, it has to be an OLED panel because you need to be able to, uh, to uh, be able to light your finger from behind the display and you need an OLED panel for that as you can see that. Now right now, uh, it is only in one place, it's only in one spot, so you really have to put your finger over that particular spot. You know, a lot of companies are, are trying and experimenting uh, ways in which they would do this. Some people are trying to be able to do this uh, by being able to touch anywhere on the screen, but right now, at least for this phone, um, 
it is on this specific area where you'd normally find your home. Again, this is a Vivo smartphone and it looks like Vivo will be, be the first to bring this technology to market. Um, our sources uh, tell us from Vivo, we talked to some reps from Vivo earlier that it will be based on one of their higher X52 uh, or 59 plus models. Um, so it'll be based on that okay, and that question is it is coming, coming in. in the first in early 2018 is what they tell us okay so this is the first version right yes so emilio jimenez is asking how will this affect some features say when doing in-app purchases since it's on screen tapping that area close the dialogue pop-up box so how will do you think so that um right now i think uh it will really be how the software is implemented uh, and so if you're using something like Android Pay, uh, I'm sure there will be updates to uh, the software where they'll probably move um, things around. I tried to look at the version of um, Fun Touch on this phone, but it doesn't have any version number. So I can't really go ahead and show you what, what specific version uh, it is currently running on. But um, I think right now, so this is, I don't know what the phone is going to look like. But do know for sure that Vivo will be launching uh, a smartphone in early 2018 with this technology built in. Will they be the first to market? We'll see. But at least, you know, we've heard about this, we've reported on this uh, for a while now, and it's the first time that we've been able to see it in person. Again, I can show you if you're watching. If you've just joined us, this is the Synaptics technology and optical uh, optical sen uh, scanner uh, underneath the display. It's built into the display of this phone. All you have to do is press and hold and you unlock the phone. I actually like the animation when the always on display is on. You have that little icon over there, you press it and you see all those little stuff that kind oh, of signify. Patrick asks, is this phone, to f is this prone to screen burning? Is this prone to screen burning? That's a good question. We'll probably ask some of the folks here at Synap Synaptics and see what they have to say. Uh, but it is um, an OLED uh, panel. But I don't think that um, because it kind of moves around a bit and it kind of fades in and out, I don't think uh, that should be an issue. But then again, we will only know with time. Uh, I'm sure they're going to deny this as well. So we'll see. Ooh, but that's a really good question. Um, and it's always on the always on display. So technically, if it's lying on your table, you could just basically touch it and hold it to unlock the phone. It's really fast as fast as what we're used to on other Vivo smartphones. Really good. Godoy Campo is asking, what are the full specs of this phone? So we don't know the full specs of this phone. We don't even know what it's going to look like yet. Uh, so this is just a prototype, just to show that the technology is working and it's ready to go to market. Jope Toliano is asking, can can the phone be unlocked even if the screen is off? And you talked about this earlier. Yes, the phone can be unlocked. Well, there's an always on display. So technically it's not off per se. If I switch it off, the always on display will come up. And so I can unlock um, that way. Okay, they're asking about camera resolutions and the front cam and like even... So all of those specs, you know, I, I won't get into because this is not the final phone. So all those phone specs that you want to know about the next Vivo smartphone, but it's based on their higher end X Plus model. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. So I think it'll probably be an, be an iteration to that particular smartphone. Okay, one final time for people to see it for those who just... Okay, so if you guys are just joining us, if you're a late joiner, thank you again for joining us here at the Synaptics booth booth at CES 2018 in Las Vegas uh, where uh, for us one of the best the most innovative things that we've seen is the fingerprint uh, scanner built underneath the display this is a Vivo smartphone will be the first one of the first phones to bring the technology to market if not the first phone and just to show everybody how it works all you have to do is press press your finger on this little uh, uh, image of a finger fingerprint you press and hold it unlocks the phone very quick unlock times and it basically uses the OLED technology of the panel to illuminate your finger uh, your fingerprint take a snapshot of that fingerprint it uses the CMOS sensor like you'll find on a smartphone camera or any camera it takes an image it um, that uh, in, in that information is encrypted then sent to the smartphone to kind of find a match and then it unlocks the phone all that happened uh, in just uh, less uh, under under the phone any other questions if you have any other well, questions Julian of utterly random techie says do you think Apple will put their own spin on this tech I think all iPhone? of 
I think all of the smartphone manufacturers are all scrambling. We know Samsung has been working on a similar technology and they should also have a headway. Of course, Synaptics does make all of these kind of like uh, devices. So they're really good at, at this technology, but Samsung makes the OLED panels. We'll see, we, we hear that it's not gonna come to the S9. Maybe the Note 9 might have it. Uh, that, that'll give them uh, maybe almost a year to kind of, because uh, uh, the technology is there. We've, we've heard from Samsung, uh, from sources inside Samsung that that technology is there, it's just not ready yet. Apple was rumored to be working on it for the iPhone 10, but um, they weren't able to get it done on time. I think that it would make the perfect combination to facial uh, Face ID, so that at least you have two different op options and you're not just tied down to Face ID as your main uh, unlocking um, uh, method on your smartphone. Okay, that's so it. that's about it. We're gonna wrap. Let it go, 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 let it go